Welcome to the Spiritual AF Life Podcast, a magical place where your host, Heather Danielle, psychic medium, will bring the mystical woo-woo world down to earth in practical ways. Tune in every Monday for your weekly reading and on Wednesdays to hear fascinating conversations with spiritual experts, uplifting stories, and deep dives into the metaphysical world, all to help you tap into the invisible guidance that's all around you. It's time to start living a spiritual AF life. Get cozy. The conversation is starting now. Happy Monday and a welcome to the Spiritual AF Life Podcast. And in case you don't know, every single Monday, I am going to bring you a weekly reading from your spirit guides, past loved ones, and possibly angels to go ahead and bring you some insight for your highest good for the week. And in case you don't know, I am going to be posting these on Facebook. And I do try to put them on Instagram sometimes. So definitely watch out for my stories. I'm trying to get a little bit better with that. And I also have them on Pinterest. So if you are a Pinterest lover, then definitely check out my Pinterest in the show notes because I will also be putting them on there. And you can also go back and look at some of the cards from previous dates and then see like, oh my God, that card was so spot on for that day i love looking back on the cards and the guidance because sometimes they might make make sense right away but then in the future they're gonna make sense all right so before i choose a monday's card i have to tell you something that i keep on forgetting to tell you and that is the oracle 101 course is about to go through its last lessons on Saturday. And it is an amazing course and it is part of the Coffee and Cards Club. And I know that you know that, but I did not tell you that the price for the Coffee and Cards Club is actually going to go up. Not if you're Coffee and Cards Club member already. The price is going to stay the same for you but it is going to be more to get into the club. So I would recommend that if you are thinking about it to go ahead and join now just for that $7 and you have full access to the Oracle 101 course, of course, with other courses too that you get and little classes and the community and all these kinds of things, you get so much. But the $7 to join is going away soon. And if you don't want that monthly payment, which I think is like $27 right now, then you can pay for the whole year for just the $270. So you actually get two months free. And it is a bang up deal because we spend lots of time together. And you are going to have a resource library like nobody else. Like honestly, what I'm doing with the club is I'm making it to where you're not going to really need another spiritual course again. I'm really trying to give you everything inside of that course or inside of the club so you don't need any more of those things. You will have it all right there in one spot whenever you need it. All right, so reach out to me or check the show notes for the link to at least look at what is included in the club. All right, now since we got out of the way, let's go to Monday's card. Monday's card is Lizard Spirit, and this is from the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed And I chose this because I really feel that animals are really, really big this week. We really need to be paying attention to the animals. And I mean, the animals that are outside, like wildlife, definitely if you have pets, I would keep that in mind. But I'm definitely seeing a lot of birds, a lot of butterflies. I'm seeing a lot of that outside and that really having symbolism that we need to basically pay attention to. So the lizard spirit is coming up from Monday and it is number 38 and it says dream the world into being. Oh my gosh. I totally love this. Number one on Monday, you have to pay attention to the words that you were saying because you are really going to be creating your own reality on Monday. And basically whatever you're focusing on Monday, there is a sensitive energy there to where you are going to get whatever you're thinking about. So if you're having a rough day, and you keep on thinking about having a rough day, guess what? Your day is just going to get more rough, okay? And it says here that 
have you been allowing your imagination to run amok and dream up a nightmare that seems to have come true? Fear not for whatever dreaming you did in the past can change today as you dream anew. Wake up from the perception that everything is wrong. Lizard spirit asks you to open your eyes and consciously dream a better dream. What would it look like to you if you already have what you desire and be the one you wish to be? How it might feel to work with co-creating this new dream. Hmm. And that's a protection message that I was really guided to share with you. So love this. Also, the spirit matches is going to be to daydream. If you could have everything that you wanted and there was no limitations, what would it be? I feel like on Monday, it's not a day of a lot of action. I feel like there's a lot of busy work in the mind. And so they just really want you to focus on that as opposed to some of the physical stuff on Monday. Okay, so now on Tuesday, Tuesday is the seahorse spirit. It says watch and wait, and it is number 53. Mm, I love this. It's like literally straight into the point because it's telling you not to make any moves, not to take any action. It is a time for you just to chill and to wait. I don't care if they give you a deadline. Deadlines can always be pushed back. So unless it's like extremely imperative, I would just do what this card says and wait. Don't make any rash decisions because what could possibly be happening is that things will work out. But then if you really get involved, then you could make things worse or more complicated. So Tuesday, they're saying, hey, chill out. And it's really funny too, because I have something like, I'm like, oh my God, do I need to take care of this? Like I, I, I did something wrong and things are just kind of chaotic on Tuesday. So it's really funny that this card is saying to wait. So I'm not going to do anything to try and fix it because it may fix itself. And that's the same exact message that I'm getting for you. And then it says for you to step back from whatever situation you're thinking about or whatever situation comes up on Tuesday and be willing to explore things from different angles rather than a single one and just observe what is possible. From the perspective of the position of the neutral observer, you will discover opportunities and do and a deeper understanding of what you seek and why i kind of like that message and i kind of don't but it's just trying to let you open up your mind a little bit to different possibilities everything is not always black and white so just chill just wait everything can wait till tomorrow this would seriously be a day where you sleep on it okay <laughs> just sleep on it Okay, now we're moving on to Wednesday's card, and that is the Porcupine Spirit, and it is time for a beginner mind. It's number 48. The very first thing that I get from this card is going to be be humble. Be humble on Wednesday. Don't make assumptions. This is going to be a day for you to listen. Try not to react. <laughs> Try just to be chill again kind of going with the same energy from Tuesday. So maybe whatever you're dealing with, with on Tuesday, on Wednesday, there's probably still some of that energy there. So I would just kind of, like I said, be humble, chill, let the other person make the first move, let them come to you when you are talking back and things like that. Really try to come from a place of compassion and understanding because it's going to get you further than if you were to, you know, fight back and be a little bit sassy and things like that. You're, I guess you're going to have a little bit more respect if you do it that way. This is time where it's like be a little bit more sweeter. So whether you're looking for a job, it's talking about a relationship, whatever that it's talking about, I just want you to really put yourself in the other person's position and be nicer. Be nicer. And if you're trying to go for job interviews and things like that, you know, really come from a curious mind be youthful be cute don't be passive aggressive that is not what you want on wednesday you really want to make other people feel comfortable on wednesday to where they can let their guard down and for you to be nicer with the communication so that you don't have to make anything worse probably amongst other things <laughs> and you're going to get a little bit more movement when you do that you're going to come from a little bit more of a place of understanding and they're going to too. Basically, you're going to get more of your way of what you want, even if you don't know what you want yet. If you play your cards right on Wednesday, stay in that humble, sweet, compassionate kind of energy and that curious, youthful energy. 
Okay, so we're moving on to Thursday's card, which I love it. It is number 11, and it is Butterfly Spirit. Transformation is a beautiful. And this is Butterfly. It's all talking about past loved ones. It's talking about transitioning to the other side. Wow, I absolutely love it. So if you had anybody that passed, definitely on Thursday, it, there's a lot of crazy energy around it. So they might be showing you signs. They might be letting you know that everything's okay. They made it to the other side. And they're truly, truly with with you that number 11 is really standing out to me so number 11 is the month of november which reminds me of my son so that could definitely you know relate to okay like your son or it's somebody in the military so a lot of times people who had like a military background things like that they will show me the number 11 because there's a lot of military holidays inside of the month of november but if they didn't that's okay it's still just going to probably be your past loved one asking for signs and i would definitely ask for their specific signs so that you know that every time that you see that sign that you know it is from that and it says for thursday it is a day for joy Ooh, look around and see beauty that is evident everyone including you i don't know why but i feel like maybe we even get good news on thursday or some crazy news and i just feel like it's time not to be upset trust in the process i feel like it's actually good even though you may not see it as good things and definitely pay attention to butterflies too because that is going to be one of the number one signs that spirit sends you oh okay now we are going on to oh i love it friday's card which is number 14 and it is the chameleon spirit and it says act as if mm -mm -mm. and i'm going to read you what it says it says a chameleon spirit shares her gift with you today to prepare you for changes that will greatly benefit you. Outer conditions are changing and you're required to come into harmony with them so you can co-create your greatest dream. Feeling sensitive? Good, because that will come in handy, enabling you to determine how best to adapt your environment and the people in it, while at the same time maintaining your integrity and inner equilibrium. Even if you feel like you're in outer territory, Chameleon spirit has complete faith in your ability to fit in and learn the lay of the land, adapting as necessary. This is a fortunate time to act as if and do as others do until the new ways feel familiar and completely natural. Life is offering you a great lesson now. Adapting isn't about losing yourself. It's about learning how to dance with others. Mm, I think that's it right there. That final like couple words. It's about learning how to dance with others. Yes, that's so true, isn't it? Because each one of us is a different human being. And I love how they say that each one of us is having our own dream. Like I have a reality that might be so much more different than yours. And your reality is so much different than everybody else's. And so even though sometimes it's so hard for us to see what other people are seeing, we have to understand that they're dreaming too. And here's something very interesting. The focal point of every person's dream is themselves. And I know that you might say, oh no, but I'm selfless and things like that. You are, you probably really are. And that's a good thing in a way to be selfless. But your dream is around you. You are the star of your own dream. And so you just took on the characteristics of being someone who is selfless, but selfless people are also kind of selfish because they're the ones that are always asking like, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? I want to help you. I want to do this. I can do this. Do you see how many eyes were in that? That's because all the energy is going back towards you, <laughs> you know, but it's a good thing. You're supposed to be the star of your own show and the star of your own life, but other people, they are also the stars of their own life. And so their, like, how do I say this? Their life, their experiences might be very similar to yours, but they have a whole different kind of genetic makeup than you do. They might not be capable of seeing the obvious things that you are seeing. And I think that's the reason why the chameleon spirit came up to us, because we have to learn to dance with other people inside of their own dream. Here's a really good example. When you're at the gym, you might think that everybody is watching you. 
You might be like, oh my God, oh my God, I might be so fat. Oh my God, I don't belong here. Oh my goodness, are they looking at how much weight that I can do? Are they looking at my sets? Are they looking at, you know, how I'm walking around? Maybe you don't have that. Maybe it's going to be when you're at the PTA, when you're at school, or maybe when you're at work, like, oh my God. Like, for example, if you ever go in somewhere and you spilt something on your shirt, now all of a sudden you are just thinking that everybody's going to look at your shirt and everybody's going to be talking about you or they're going to be wondering why and then now how badly you suck because your shirt sucks, you know, and it has coffee on it or whatever it is. But people might have one night might not be paying attention. But then even when they do see it, they're probably going to be thinking about themselves too. Oh, well, thank goodness I have a clean shirt. Oh, look at me. You know, I wouldn't do that. They're just focused on themselves. And so just kind of keep that in the back of your mind for Friday because I feel like it's going to help out a lot. And I want to bring up another thing is when we went through the pandemic, there was a lot of things online everywhere. And there was a lot of people reaching out to me too, telling me about what horrible things were happening and how neighbors were hurting neighbors and friends and all this stuff. I did not see any of that. I seen some of the most generous things ever happened during that pandemic. I seen people helping each other. I seen all these things. And when I thought about it, I was like, wow, that's somebody else's experience. Like there's no doubt in my mind that people saw that and they felt that. And maybe they were even a victim of that. And my heart goes out to you if you were. But in my life, in my experiences, I did not see that at all. That was not it. And sometimes it blows my mind that so many people are having such different experiences. But that's the reason that why that we're here. We're not all here to have the same experiences. So when we even get into politics and religion and all those taboo things that we're not really supposed to talk about and people have such strong opinions about, you know, there is no right or wrong. There isn't one way that is the best way. Not even my belief. I think my belief is the best way, <laughs> but the thing is that I know it might not be the best way for everybody. So my thing is find out what works for you, what you truly love, what sings to your heart. And then if it makes you a better person, if it makes your life better, then do that. And you can't make your life better if you're like messing other people over. Okay. So let's just put that right to bed right now. <laughs> Okay, so I hope that you loved this little reading, and I hope that I will see you on Wednesday for a special episode of the Spiritual AF Light Podcast, and thank you so much for subscribing, and if you leave a review, I totally love that, and I hope to see you in the Coffee and Cards Club. All right, I'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in to the Spiritual AF Life Podcast. You'll find all the links to resources and more in the show notes. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the incredible episodes that are coming up.